Welcome to Scanning TV on YouTube once again. Let's see some latest updates coming in from the camp of Black Stars players. Yes, yesterday I brought you a lot of updates. And Salis Abdul Samed, he was also in action in the UEFA Champions League game for his club, Alcylons. And we will talk a little on the player. Charles Sego Jr. is a young chap who was born in England but a Ghanaian. Yesterday he played for Arsenal Football Club. The youth side he scored a goal for them and the coach has praised him. We will also look at that. There is some piece of good news coming in for Osman Bukhari and Ghanaians. The player is going to be in action tonight. We will talk a little on that and also concentrate on Black Stars Methodist, the defensive Methodist that we need in a team that can help us going forward as a national team. There's one of them that uh, many have been commenting I should speak about the player. Today I'm going to do justice for that. That is Alfred Duncan. He's a former player for Black Stars under 20. He was really fantastic. Let me know your thoughts if you think he should return into the national team. I've been saying we don't need a lot of changes in the team, but there are some positions. Definitely, we need to fix some, um, you know, things in there. Goalkeeping, left back, midfielders, and also attacking phase. We need to make sure that we will do some little twists so that we will get the team cohesion and go on world to play. The two AFCON qualifiers we have next month, and also the AFCON that's World Cup qualifiers we have next month. Sorry, then the AFCON we have on January itself. So let's talk about all this and more. Before then, anytime you join us, please, as you do for us, always drop us a like. Like the video is very necessary. And also, if you are new, subscribe to this channel. Put us on post notifications so that anytime you drop a latest update, you'll be the first person to get and also enjoy. Don't forget to leave your thoughts and views in the comments box. I'll be giving shout out to those who commented under the last video in this one. Afcon, we want to go there and give you good coverage. So please, if you want to support us, look at the pinned comments down there. Jeremiah Inso, um, he has actually supported us. I appreciate you so much. So please, you can also add yours. Now, let me begin from here. Let me give some few quick updates before we talk about the midfield. Midfielders. One, Charles Sego Jr. He is a midfielder um, who plays for Arsenal Football Club. There was um, the last update I spoke about him was when he played for Arsenal in that cup game against Brentford. He did very, very well. And yesterday he played for Arsenal under 19 against um, Sabia in Spain. Even though Arsenal they lost two goals to one, he was the player who was on the score sheet. Now, according to his coach, um, that is Mamed Ali, he has said that the player he is a level headed guy, he's very fantastic even though they got defeated yesterday this is what he has to say on the young talented Charles Sego Jr he's an English born but a Ghanaian I've spoken about him on some number of occasions Charles is very level-headed and he's desperate to improve and get better he continues to work hard in training of course playing with um, you know, the first team has given him a real confidence boost but he's kept his head and continues to work hard and I was really pleased that he got his reward with a goal so according to him yes playing with the arsenal first team has really improved the boy and the boy is doing well um you know um the last time that he signed a contract for arsenal was last year july and um you know he's doing well we will continue to monitor him i've been saying it we can give him a call up to join the, you know under 20 under 23 he's so young so he can play in all those ones and that is that now let me move on rc lost yesterday they also played at home um against psv and hovin in the uefa champions league game it was really tough they considered first then they equalized and salis abdul samed he was in the midfield for them he did quite well in that particular game getting a rating of 6.6 after having 50 touches in the game he gave 38 out of 44 accurate passes which is 86 percent he gave one key pass also went in for 11 ground balls and won six of them and now they sit second in their group that is also good good for them group a b arsenal first arsenal sabia and psv and hovin just like that now let me move on and talk about a piece of good news for osman bukhari and ghanias you know osman bukhari he got an injury and before the international break so because of that he didn't play in the games against mexico and usa where ghana we lost six goals to nil in total so now he is back as i was checking through rest Belgrade's last training session they had yesterday ahead of the uefa champions league game tonight the player was part i spotted him and this is a good news for us and all the fans are excited under that particular post seeing Osma Bukai because two UEFA Champions League games for them he has scored two goals and provided one assist one goal against Manchester City in its yard and one goal against Young Boys and also an assist in the last game they played so tonight they'll be playing against RB Leipzig in um, Germany 
I know Leipzig, they are the favorite in this game, but Leipzig too, they have some portals, uh, loopholes at their back line. So Osmo Bukali, he is going to exploit and do well for them tonight. So I'm excited for the player to be back and that is it. Wait, Edmond Ado, I didn't see him. I don't think he will even travel with the team. The whole season, Edmond Ado has played a total of 13 minutes in the competition or competitive football for Resta Belgrade. He came on in some 13 minutes for them and after that, that is all. He has not played in about over 10 matches now so we don't know why he will still come to black stars and be expecting to command starting 11 but it is what it is so staying with the midfielders let's talk about the black stars defensive midfielders that we have and the new ones that we can talk about he is not a new one i'm talking about this player his name is alfred duncan he has played for black stars before yes he was born on the 10th march 1993 so he's now 30 years old he was born in accra ghana here 1.7 um, 8 meter high that's 5 feet 10 um, inches and the player he has been doing well currently he plays for fiorentina in the italian Serie A, he's played for inter milan that's where he began his um, youth side in um, italy he moved to levono on loan sampdoria sassiolo fiorentina Cagliari, and now back to fiorentina where he is really playing well for them if you have been watching um, fiorentina last year they got to the um, you know finals of uefa um, um conference league but unfortunately they were not able to win that one but now they are back doing very well for themselves and that is that now talking about this boy last um, year he resigned or he retired from playing for international football on 28th of may he brought a statement saying that he has been disgraced he has been left out he has been frustrated with the national team not that he doesn't love ghana or he doesn't want to play for ghana but he felt the previous coaches were not um, you know respecting him enough sometimes he says he'll join the national team go on you know about three four games you not even get a minute to play or something like that so he felt rejected and dejected that is why he decided not to play for ghana let me put that on record so not that he doesn't want to play but because he feels that he has been rejected from the national team that is why he is not playing and i tell you he is one of the best defensive midfielders that we have currently and ghana we can follow him only if coach christian he is a new handler for the national team so he can go and speak with the boy as many are saying and he will come and play for ghana this season he has been doing well and that is um, the profile of, um, you know, Alfred Duncan, Alfred Joseph Duncan. He played um, 2013 for Ghana and had the 20 World Cup for us. In the Black Stars proper, he has played 10 games. Just that some of the games he will come on. And uh, he made his debut against Kivet. Kivet will be playing against them, you know, in the AFCON proper itself. So these are some of the latest updates on the boy Alfred Joseph Duncan. Now, the second boy I will talk about here is Ibrahim Suleiman Kakari. Yes, he is also a boy who started his football Sunyani in Ghana here. Then he moved to Italy to continue his football for um, Atlanta. Now he plays his club football for Calgary after joining uh, Hellas Verona. Then he has moved on to Calgary where he is now playing this particular season. So he's also a player who was born on the 22nd of May 2003. This is just a 20 year old boy. Yes, 1.8 meter height, 5 feet 11 inches. And um, he is a defensive man for that as well. So Ghana, if you want a DM, who will replace, um, you know, either Salis or Pate going forward. He's also one player that we can really fall on. For now, he's doing well for his club category in the Italian Serie A. And we wish him all the best going forward. So, he's also one profile that if he wants in the national team, we can actually follow him. Because right now, the Black Stars team, Salis um, Samet as a defensive midfielder party, I think those two are the consistent ones that we have now. Pate is not even out and out in the defensive midfielder. Usually, Pate tries when he moves forward. But Salis has been playing that role for us. But in the absence of Salis, which player again can we fall on? Edmond Ado has not proven to us. Baba Idrisu is doing quite well in Spain for his club that is UD Ameria but Ameria is not also picking up Baba Idrisu personally I think he's a good player but the coach has not shown that he wants to trust Baba Idrisu all that much because he has not even been inviting him for some of our games Elisha also also similar profile but not proving much in the Black Stars team we are looking for it that Ashmiro will come but Ashmiro is more of like offensive midfielder than defensive so 
Alfred Duncan, then Suleimana Ibrahim. I think these two players, we can look at them going forward as a national team. These are the two that I wanted to talk about. Let me know your thoughts in the comments box on the players who are doing well. Talking of Salih Samed, also um, Charles Sego Jr., then Osma Bukhari, and we also spoke about the two defensive midfielders. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box. Let me give some few shout out to those who commented under the last video before I take leave of you shout outs going out to swanzi kuji i've seen you are doing well on this channel i appreciate you so much and next i met a few is also here thank you agbenu emmanuel you are also here thank you i appreciate you emmanuel boatin is also here kofi um krobia asante dakon thank you kofi krobia i've seen you um then i have who again christian no Paul christian um Fanama. okay i've seen you are doing great thomas afrasi is also here thank you for being here barack 6365 i appreciate you so much abdo kado usman thank you for being here adepa 1212 adepa what's up you are doing well jm enoch you are also here jm i've seen you becky beck is also here email tv i appreciate you so much amura jonas is also present exquisite also alexander is also here c2 um nam okay c2 anam thank you for being here i've seen you then elijah um elijah okay 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 elijah and kinsley thank you i've seen you fox recap is also here owusu um jacob yuri thank you for being here i've seen you mr videos is here baba oja ake with the thumbs up i appreciate you kwajodeos is present then i have um j gaming tv also here downy peter is also on this channel downy peter i've seen you are doing well too loud earpiece is also present i appreciate you Cool Power Zero is also here. Samson um, Kudaho is also here. Emmanuel Boatin, um, Auntie Becky. Auntie Becky, hi, you are doing well. Thank you. Blue View Capital is also here. Fenton Daniel present. Um, Umar Mazi is the last person to comment under the last video. Let me know your thoughts in this one as well. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, put on the bell for more updates here on this channel. This is Kenny TV, and of course, we shall meet later.